Hello everyone, in today's quick video I will talk to you about a new iOS 17.4 release on my iPhone 11 and how it looks, what it, uh, what is the new about it and how the phone works. So the first and foremost change is that Apple now allows alternative app marketplaces and alternative payment options on the App Store in the European Union. So other changes in the EU includes a new default web browser, selection screen in Safari. I will show you that now in a second. So when you open Safari, you can choose your own default browser. That's the new in this uh, release. And also the ability for third party web browsers to use web engines other than Apple's WebKit on the iPhone. And the ability for the third party mobile wallet apps to access the iPhone's NFC chip for contactless payment and more. Uh, so starting with iOS 17.4, the Apple Podcasts now offers transcriptions for podcasts. So it allows you to read the full text of an episode. Just a second. So this is podcast. This is one of the podcasts. And what you can do is tap a transcription icon and you can read full text of an episode. You can search for a specific word or phrase and tap on the text to jump to a certain part of the episode. As an episode plays, each word is highlighted, similar to Apple's music song lyrics. And basically that's it. Uh, the transcriptions are available for podcasts in English, French, German, and Spanish. iOS 17.4 also adds new emojis. Uh, that includes broken chain, uh, brown mushroom, lime, and and more. As you can see now in this example, these are the some of the new emojis. And also what we need to say is that battery health in settings shows battery cycle count, manufacturer's date, and first use on iPhone, but that's just on iPhone 15 and 15 Pro models. Uh, stolen device protection supports the option for increased security in all locations. Until now, it was uh, it was in all familiar locations. Music recognition lets you add songs you have identified to your Apple Music playlists and library. And also stolen device protection. Now, yeah, yes, I already said that. But uh, on messages, Apple introduced. PQ3, a new way to keep iMessage secure from advanced cyber threats, and it will replace the current security method slowly, starting with specific versions of iOS, macOS, iPadOS, and to use PQ3, everyone in an iMessage chat needs to update their devices to the right software version. And I believe that's it for this quick overview. So. My phone, my phone works perfectly as before. The battery, I do not see any changes on the battery health. Uh, and that's that's it. This is the this uh, this release solves a lot of security issues, and that is why it's important to update it. Uh, to update uh, and the update. So the update takes about 1.6 gigabytes. So you can uh, you can count uh, about 20 to 30 minutes to to finish this update. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.